the regen of South Acton Estate has been talked about for decades. Walking through the estate was quite an intimidating and frightening thing to do. And I've lived in South Acton since January 1975. Going back to the 80s, it had just got more and more run down. There wasn't any investment in it. We didn't have decent homes. The block that I lived in went up around 59, 60, and it had never been rewired. It had almost become a kind of no-go area for the police. We'd had serious crimes, and nobody wanted to live on South Acton. And what we wanted was a complete transformation of the estate. Here at Acton Gardens, the potential that we saw in the project before we started was immense. So it recreates the estate physically, but very much also as a, as a new thriving social community. We like to recreate neighbourhoods around a network of traditional looking streets. They're not privatised, they don't feel excluding to the general public. It's about enabling people um, to live affordably, comfortably and socially uh, in a well-designed neighbourhood. Looking at making lives better and improving the quality of life for our residents on the estate, you only have to look at the quality of the homes, the spaces, the way that they've been designed, just outstanding. Well, when we step off the overground here and we look at the development, what we love about the area is that every building's different. So it's not you're just looking at the same clone of building all the time. And it's a lot of greenery around. You've got the allotments, you've got parks. The environment that Countryside have created is amazing. They've created a safe environment and it's creating a high quality of living for everyone. Space-wise, our flats are a really good size. They're what they call lifetime standards, I think, so they'll take you, if you like, from the cradle to the grave, a bit like the NHS. I'm pleased with my flat. They are soundproof. The old flats weren't. You could hear people walking around, you could hear bathrooms, you could hear kitchens. Countryside and LNQ have created a community board, which is great, but, so we have that direct input. So if there are issues surrounding design, well, there's a design subgroup that residents can be part of. We have presented the, the scheme as it's developed every step of the way to ensure that they are satisfied, that we are delivering what we promised to them. You're obviously beating people from the other ten years that are here, and gradually you are building a new community. In all of our regeneration projects across the borough, we always want to maximise the opportunities for the residents on the estate to get employment, to get training. Really delighted uh, with the way that those training and job opportunities have been available to local residents. I can do my MVQ whilst I'm training on site and I'm learning key skills, working with professionals and seeing how everything's done. My goals for the future is just to become a fully qualified plumber and would like to carry on working with Countryside. We've been able to you know, provide in excess of 24% local employment opportunities for residents. Uh, we've invested in over 75 uh, community projects. Cultivate London works with young people and adult residents from the local area to grow a range of plants here. And a number of these are actually used by Countryside to plant out on the South Acton estate itself, which I just think is a fantastic way of building community here. They're a great partner to have and we really appreciate it. So as well as the strong relationships that we have with our partners and the local community, we really benefit from having some long-standing relationships with our supply chain, which helps us de-risk the delivery stage of our projects. The close working with our consultants as well as our trade contractors means that we can deliver a project and be confident about the programme that we're setting ourselves. These things work and they work well when the stakeholders and in particular the local community can see that the outcome provides for them something which makes the upheaval worthwhile. We don't just stop at building the homes, we work with the community to make sure that it's properly integrated. The post-occupation part of the project is equally as important to us as is the design and the, the construction. The countryside approached us to do this research 
um, because they wanted to know a lot more about what it was like to live here. They wanted to know a real in-depth portrait of the estate. And when we came in, we talked to over 500 residents. People were generally, people like the new architecture, they like the look of it. They feel that it's safer than it used to be. They appreciate, you know, the changes that are taking place and the safety. One of the some nice things have been done on this estate with public art um, street art that in some ways have sort of shown a bit of love towards what's old and being demolished as well as the new and I think those things are really important because people are going to be living in this area for a long time before they can move into new housing. Looking after them and sort of trying to make the transition as smooth as possible is, is really good. They want this to work, you know, they want it to be a great regeneration scheme and they do want the people living here at the moment to feel good about it and to have a better quality of life. That kind of thoughtful and sensitive understanding of the needs of people in a neighbourhood is a rare and precious commodity. In terms of a long-term management of the estate, Countryside have put in a, a system uh, that's sustainable that will allow L&Q to deliver that. And I think that gives us a great deal of confidence that the quality that we're creating here for the residents will always be here into the future and that really is an important part of what we're doing quite a lot of the residents that want to build the community can see their future and live here because they can see that their stake is worthwhile. Ten years ago, 80% of people didn't want to come onto the estate. They were very clear about that. Now 80% want to stay, want to remain. Fantastic result, great turnaround. Countryside uh, have been very, very helpful uh, and I don't know, I could without a doubt recommend them to anyone uh, who's ever thinking of uh, going down the route that we did. Working together in partnership with other stakeholders is really vital. The relationship with Countryside has been fantastic. They're working together, the council residents and Countryside as a team, solving the problems and pushing the project forward. And that's been really impressive. All that fear and worry that used to be associated with South Acton has been swept away. It's a place where people now want to live and are proud to do so.